Hi, welcome back to Latin Guitar Mastery. Today we're going to do a guitar tutorial on my version of Girl From Ipanema. This is a solo guitar version. Now if you'd like to download the music or get access to an interactive play along track, you can go to LGM Members, which is on my blog, and support the channel. So let's jump straight into Girl From Ipanema solo guitar version. So we start with the first two bars. Okay, so you'll notice that the chords are kind of on beats one and three, and there's a melody. And we're basically starting with an F chord, and with the bass moving <clears throat> from F to C. So I really encourage you to start with that um, first two bar phrase and just kind of loop it. Okay, so the next two bars, we go to a G7, G13 chord. Okay, so you keep that movement on beats one and three with the bass note, then the chord, and the melody. A little bit hard to coordinate with the right hand. Then we go to G minor, which is a, a, a four bar on three. Like that and then we're playing C E followed by G flat bass note and our G flat seven chord which is with the C it's a sharp eleven. So we're going like that and then F back to our G flat seven chord sharp eleven. The second section, the B section we change tonality, we're gonna to go to a G major seven, G flat major seven, with the top melody playing F, like that, and then a little melody where we kind of slide into the F sharp. Then we go into our B seven chord, fill up. So we have our melody and then kind of like a, a bossa nova filler there to an F minor seven chord or F minor nine chord with a G sharp in the, in the melody. And then we slide up to A. These are triplet uh, crotchets, so you'd be playing it three over two. So it's... Um, da, 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 da. So it can be played relatively freely, but just remember that we've got six notes to be played in the bar. Then we move up to our D7 chord, like that. Again, just sort of filling in with those little bossa nova fills. G minor seven or G minor nine. Same little melody, and we go to E flat seven. So you can see we're moving from um, G major seven to B seven. Minor nine to D seven, G minor seven to E flat seven. So this is kind of gradual shift up, building tension, and it's a really great song as far as building of the tension of the harmonic tension. Now we move to a little sequence which goes. We go to our A minor again, triplet crotchets. And then this really lovely chord, which is really a D7 with a flat five, sharp 11, like that. Which on its own sounds quite dissonant, but um, in the context it works really well. Now we're gonna play A, B flat with the G bass. Or you can play the full chord. Same uh, melodic idea, and then same chord as before, but two frets down, which is a C7. C7 flat 9 sharp 11 and that's the end of the middle section. So it's really the middle section is made up of these two sections, two parts which is a, an ascending harmonic progression and then kind of a descending harmonic progression with um, lots of really beautiful scale type melodies. The final section we repeat the starting verse. But this time when we go to G minor, we're going to go up. So we're going to go like that. And then C7 
seven in eighth position. And that's got a B flat bass. And then this little melody is gonna happen three times. Like that, and then F major seven, G flat seven. Third time. And then we finish it with a F major nine chord. So there's a quick overview of Girl From Ipanema, my solo guitar arrangement. You can also download the sheet music or get access to it through LGM members, which is on my blog and the link above. I uh, hope you enjoy working on that arrangement. It's really suitable for intermediate players, but I, I think it'll um, provide some interest for even some um, well-developed beginners, let's just say. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like and consider subscribing to get updates on my new lessons. And I'll see you next time.